All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War. Back at you again with another lesson. And uh, the title of this lesson will be Peaceful Place, Heaven. Peaceful Place, Heaven. All right, because at the end of the day, all right, us of the whole four elect, you know, we just seek peace. You know, the gospel, the word of the Lord is, is peace, is good news. Good news to who? To the Israelites. Good news to the Lord's people. All right, we're the ones that need a savior. We're the ones that need to come out of hell. Okay, which hell is a condition. And, um... Uh, thinking of a preset Let me uh, get that real quick You know this might be a very short lesson I have a few precepts queued up And uh, just hopefully it's edifying To those of the whole four elect So let's read this one This is um, Hebrews form 1 It says let us, therefore, let us therefore fear Least the promise being left us Of entering into his rest Any of you should seem to come short of it for unto us was the gospel preached, as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. All right, because the scriptures say many are called, but few are chosen. All right, and right off the back, it says, therefore, fear, you know, fear is respect. You know, we, we fear Yahweh Bashem Shai. Okay, we respect Yahweh Bashem Shai, you know, to do the Lord's will. Okay, it says, let us therefore fear, lest a promise being left us of entering into his rest. And what is that promise? That promise is that penny. Okay, that promise is salvation. So it says, uh, lest a promise being left us of entering into his rest, which is the peaceful place, heaven. All right, now let me say this. Um, Heaven is going to be here on earth, okay, not out of space somewhere, okay? Um, when you read the prayer, uh, the prayer goes, uh, Our Father who art in heaven, thou be thy name, thy kingdom come, thou will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Okay, it clearly tells you right there that heaven is going to be on earth and not out of space somewhere, all right? If you believe that, you need to get far away from that Christianity doctrine, okay, that dogma. Because it's going to lead you to destruction. Um, what's that? Micah 2 and 10. This is polluted. This land is polluted. Shall lead you to a sort of destruction. All right. Meaning you're going to be destroyed. Okay. It says, let us therefore fear. Least the promise being left us of entering into his rest. Any of you should seem to come short of it. For unto us was the gospel preached. As well as unto them. Now. We're in the season of the Passover, all right? This Friday night, it's going to be the Passover for seven days. You know, the first day is a Solomon, um, a Solomon assembly, okay? It's a very serious matter. You know, you're supposed to hold that day as a Sabbath. And here it is. You have other camps that, you know, know that they're Israelites and teaching that they're Israelites. They're having a ball, a feast, partying, drinking, rapping, you know, as if it's not a time to reflect and mourn, you know, and seek mercy and peace from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. See, we, we follow Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai here at Great Millstone. All right, start with my apostles and elders and men on down. We follow Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. During the season of the Passover, he was what? He was crucified. So it was a heavy heart on Yahweh Shai. And uh, Apostle Paul said, you know, if we are joint heirs to the Lord, all right, then if the Lord suffer, we suffer. If the Lord rejoice, then we rejoice. Okay? So if the Passover is not a party. You know, it's not a party. Anyway, it says, For unto us was the gospel preached, as well as unto them, meaning this good news, this, this gospel, this doctrine of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai was preached unto us, and it was preached unto them. It says, but the word preached did not profit them, 
not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. So it's a lot of jokers who know they Israelites but really don't have the faith at all. Okay, they just, you know, dare to be there to be a part of something. Uh, the word preached did not profit them, all right, in their faith. It says being mixed with faith in them that heard it. They wasn't mixing it with the faith. It didn't increase them, you know. So, you know, they fall under the lines of the two thirds, you know, and that's a place you don't want to be. You know, you want to pray and hope, you know, that we are the elect, man. So, you know, now let me get on to the precepts. We get on to the precepts in which I had uh, jotted down. Uh, so let's go into it. This is in the book of uh, the book of John, chapter 16 and 33. It says, um, and I get straight to the point. It says, these things have I spoken unto you that in me ye might have peace in the world ye shall have tribulation but be of good cheer I have overcome the world all right now that's Yahweh Shai speaking so he says these things have I uh, these things I have spoken unto you that in me ye might have peace so through Yahweh Shai we have peace you know not supposed to be partying and um, making a lamb's dinner and celebrating on a Passover with a rap concert, you know, giving in marriage, you know, you're not supposed to be doing, you're supposed to be following Yahweh Shai. He is the peace. Through him, we have peace. It says, in the world, ye shall have tribulation. Why? Because we're in captivity. So we're going to have tribulation. We're going to have trouble. And Jacob's trouble is yet to come. Okay? The hours of temptation. Being tempted to take the MOB. Being tempted you know to take the j-a-b-b -B, right so it says but be of good cheer i have overcome the world so we are of good cheer and joy with hope and faith in the lord that we are overcome it because he did all right so through yahweh shah we could do anything man all right through the spirit and power of yahweh bashim yahweh shah meaning we can persevere through trouble uh apostle paul said uh um he said, uh, we're more than conquerors through him that love us. You know, even though we're sheep uh, sent among the wolves, but we're more than conquerors through Yahweh Bashem Yahushai that love us. So let's move on. This is in the book of John chapter 14. And um, jump down here to verse 27. It says, peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. So it's not a time to be afraid neither, okay? Even though we're mourning, it's actually a time, you know, to reflect, okay? You know, this could very well be our last Passover, all right? You know, back in the time with Egypt, the very the very origin of the Passover with Moses, it was it was hard. Okay? It was rough. You had to put the blood on our doorposts. And those who didn't, the Lord came in with the death angels, man. Alright, when that cry was heard, guess what? Pharaoh told the Israelites like to leave. So we was being delivered from his hands. But again what? It was still great trouble. Alright? And then we went into the wilderness, you know. And even that was rough. So, you know, we have to uh, be sincere in this truth and uh, be serious, man. You know, if you're not going to be serious now, whenever you're going to be serious. When the time of trouble, you know, come beating down your door, you know, and then what type of um, what type of strength will you have in that day? You're going to be very weak. You're not going to have faith because you never rehearsed and practiced faith, you know. As the scripture said in Hebrews 4, uh, uh, not being mixed with the faith. This word did not profit you. You know, Paul said in Re Romans, the 14th chapter, toward the end of the verse, he said, of it's not of faith, then it's sin. All right. So it says, John 14, 27, peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth. Give I unto you, let not your heart be troubled neither let it be afraid 
All right. So lock in. Okay, so let's uh, move on. This is in the book of Colossians. The book of Colossians chapter 3, verse 15. It says, And let the peace of Yahweh rule in your hearts, to the which also ye are called in one body, and be ye thankful. So this heart is representing your mind. Okay, which the Hebrew word there is lob. It's not the, the uh, muscle in your chest. It says, and let the peace of Yahweh rule in your hearts. Okay, another way uh, of, of um, you know, speaking this, another way of uh, understanding this is, is, is rehearsing the righteous acts of the law. Okay, doing what the Lord said to do to the best of your ability. So it says, to the which also ye are called in one body, meaning one, one word, one doctrine, okay? Under Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, teaching 100% truth, all right? In season, out of season. So, to the which also ye are called in one body. Can't climb up some other way, okay? It says, and be ye thankful, all right? Thankful for the little things, man. You know, having tissue, <laughs> You know, for, for toilet paper, you know, to having a toothbrush, uh, to brush your teeth, having soap to wash your ass, you know, having a roof over your head so when it's warm or cold outside, you sheltered, having food, having money in your pocket to be able to get the food, you know, hey, a man, uh, having a woman, a piece of booty, you know, it's peaceful, okay, a woman having a hedge, having a husband, it's peaceful, pray for these little things, man, be thankful, for these things because hey we're coming into that time lord willing all right the more closer and closer we get to salvation the more and more you're going to lose all right but of course we're going to regain everything else and more you know we fight and endure you know to uh to to be of the lord's elect and the lord deliver us you know so let's move on this is um let me go to the book of romans chapter 5 and 1 it says therefore being justified by faith we have peace with Yahweh through our Lord Yahweh Shad Mashiach so we're justified through faith all right we're not justified because of men we're justified through the Lord by our faith all right Paul even said uh, uh if we if the most high be for us who could be against us you know we want to be found blameless and unspotted you know um Damn. Apostle Paul also said, so like if not quoting scripture, but I'll leave him in the post-production. It's just scriptures running through my mind. Uh, he said, uh, we all shall come to the seed of the Lord and we shall be judged whether good or evil. You know, we shall get a reward, whether for the righteousness we've done or the wickedness. So therefore, being justified by faith, you know, yeah, we're not perfect. We go off sometimes on the law, but it's not willingly. OK, it's not willingly. And through grace, the Lord forgives us, okay? Because we strive not to break the law again, all right? Unlike others. So anyway, or two-thirds, especially those who, uh, you know, know this truth and actually just through their stubborn hearts, being rebellious, you know, that know better, you know, completely willingly going off, you know, maybe because of money, maybe because they assigned and allegiant with certain men, you know, it's pride, all right, whatever it is, they're going off. It says, we have peace with Yahweh through our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, so that's where we have peace, all right, and Yahweh Shah is coming to bring peace, all right, just as well as hell, okay, he's coming to bring hell, and he's also coming to bring peace, so let's move on, this is the book of um, Isaiah, Chapter 26 and verse 3, it says, Thou will keep him in a perfect, perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee. So the Lord is going to keep us in a perfect peace, you know, a peace of mind. You know, that's what you can't really have in this society. You know, you could get riches, you could sell your soul, 
but do you but do you are you gonna have a peace of mind are you gonna have that perfect peace you know a lot of these celebrities are unhappy you know a lot of these athletes are unhappy they're slaves you know now they're witnessing the truth through the prophets and they're knowing what's going on and they're looking and reflecting on themselves saying man i wish i you know wouldn't have been this athlete you know i wouldn't have been this i wouldn't have been that i wish i could do what they doing you know but they got to hold to their contract unless you know they get the spirit of the lord on them and they just truly repent and go cold turkey man say fuck it you know be a regular man again all right it says thou will keep him in perfect peace so through this word as the scriptures say the knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy times we're going to be in perfect peace and our mind and spirit okay even our bodies because uh the lord said um isaiah 65 and 11 he said um um those uh uh have made a table for that troop but he said my servants shall eat and they shall uh uh, uh be vexed you know my servants shall drink but they shall be thirsty so yeah and our bodies as well we're gonna have peace and especially when the lord changes our bodies Okay, so it says, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee. Trust ye in Yahweh forever, for in Yahweh, uh, Yahweh is everlasting strength. Okay, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah is everlasting strength. So, I'm going to move on. This is in the book of Matthew chapter 5, verse 9. It says, bless are the peacemakers. For they shall be called the children of Yahweh. So it's all about peace, man. All right. You got these two different camps. I-U-I-C, I-S-U-P-K. Which to me, in my humble opinion, look like a setup. You know, look like these two camps would be, you know, going to war with each other. Making Israel look ugly. And to finally, you know, shut things down and shut us up. You know, which is going to bring us into prophecy anyway. But, you know, in my humble opinion... They look like, um, you know, they set up to do that. You know, it's just foolery what, what they're doing, man. You know, it says, bless are the peacemakers. So we're about peace, man. We teach this doctrine on the street, on the highways and byways. We're speaking peace, man. If you can understand the message and listen without being um, so, uh, so emotional and being feminized as a man, you know, then you will understand that, you know, us brothers, man, of the whole four elect, the men of the Lord, the prophets, are just speaking peace, you know. You have to see that as peace in this God-forsaken wicked society under Esau. You have to see it, unless you just a wicked man as well, you know. So it says, Bless are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of Yahweh. So it's about peace, man. We want peace with the Lord. We don't want the Lord's vengeance to be on, on us. Well, F you, you crazy. You out of your mind, man. You know, shit. Uh, this is my last one, and I'm going to wrap it up. This is Romans chapter 8 and verse 6. It says, For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. All right? So being carnally, you know, going to war, all right, without the permission of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you're going to be destroyed. You're basically racing for it toward your death. You're racing toward your death. For to be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. See, a spiritual man judge of all things, as the scriptures say. And he's wise, you know. And even when he's passionate, it's a controlled anger. You know, when others think that we're crazy or we're wild, we're radical. But when you see a, a man of the Lord, brother from Great Millstone... He may get passionate, and you see that fire on him, but it's controlled, man, because he's a spiritual man, all right? So it says, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. It's about life and peace. This is why the Lord put us here, so we can have life, and we can live it, man. Matter of fact, Yahweh Shai said in John 10 and 10, he said that uh, the thief cometh not but to steal, kill, and destroy and that I will give life more, uh, life more abundantly. All right, the Lord Yahweh Shah will give us life more abundantly. We supposed to be living and and um enjoying ourselves, but unfortunately we're in captivity. All right, so we gotta fight.
for salvation spiritually. All right, because physically the, the Lord is going to fight for us. You know, he's going to put his anger on us. And you know what? What's that, Ezekiel 25? Okay, I'm going to end it with that. You know, uh, it's the book of Ezekiel. Ezekiel uh, 25, and I believe it's 12. Yep, because uh, carnal men don't understand that this word is spiritual. And they had to leave things according to the Lord's process. All right. Even when we receive power. All right. Those of the hopeful elect that receive that spiritual power. is not even of them. It's of the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. That's resting upon them to do the things they do. Whether to perform a miracle. To heal. All right. Or whether to destroy. Okay. It's not even of them. It's of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. So we got to wait. All right. We're seeking peace, man. The Lord showed us the way how to be lambs among the wolves, man. So it says, Ezekiel 25 and 12. The, uh, Thus saith Yahweh, because that Edom have dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance, and have greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh, I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom, and I will cut off man and beast from it, and I will make it desolate from Teman, and they of thee then shall fall by the sword. And I will lay my vengeance. Let me read that again. Who's going to lay their vengeance? The Lord. He said, and I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. And they shall do in Edom according to my anger and according to my fury. And they shall know that the, and they shall know that my vengeance saith Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. All right, so it's of the Lord's vengeance, it's of the Lord's anger, it's of the Lord's fury, okay? He says, and they shall know my vengeance, okay? Saith Yahweh, because how he's going to do that, he's going to use his, his men, all right, when he give them that power. Not why men don't have the power, the physical, spiritual power, all right, and, and picking up guns. It's not going to be done by that, you know? It's going to be done in the ways of Yahweh Shai cracking those clouds with the angels, man. All right, so I hope this lesson was edifying. I didn't want to drift off too far. Um, just had a few precepts jotted down. I hope this lesson is edifying. You know, at the end of the day, you know, peaceful place, all right, heaven. We're seeking a peaceful place, which is heaven, here on earth through Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. All right, so I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well, and salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.